prematurity is a very big risk factor in for pregnancy and the newborn babies about 1 in 10 to 12 babies are born premature and uh, as our hospital attracts a lot of premature uh, babies we have a very good expertise in treating premature babies now the reasons for prematurity in a woman why a woman has uh, does not go up to term that is 37 completed weeks of gestation is still not known however when you have twins when you have triplets or when you have a previous history of a preterm baby or when some women are born with problems like a short mouth of the uterus or having some tumors in the uterus like fibroids they are known to have premature delivery before 37 weeks of gestation ladies who develop high blood pressure in pregnancy ladies who develop diabetes in pregnancy are also known to be uh, very high risk for going into labor very early now premature labor remote from term is a very high risk for the survival of the baby that is below 27 weeks 28 weeks of gestation the survival is very difficult but after 28 weeks to 34 weeks it's okay about 34 weeks the survival is very good so what are the reasons for this premature labor in majority of the cases the causes is not known <clears throat> a lot of research is going on all over the world about prematurity and its causes but still nobody has come to a particular um, nobody has pointed out any particular reason for prematurity could be infections with bacteria could be chlamydia could be viral infections every day we get a new uh, reason is being postulated but nobody can really point out what is the cause of the premature labor we can only manage premature labor but and in early stages of premature labor we can stop it we can prevent it but not totally prevent it now what a woman has to know when a woman is going into preterm labor when she is more than 28 weeks what uh, how, what do they feel they start getting little back pain they start getting abdominal pain they start having discharge they start having passing watery fluid through their vagina without their knowledge now these are the very important signs sometimes premature label can start with loose motions also i have seen so many women developing loose motions just before going into premature labor any any incidences of high fever due to viral infections malaria dengue chikungunya or any other viral infections also can cause preterm labor many of the time preterm labor is caused um, is done by doctors in the hospital deliberately to save the mother from going into further complications to save the mother and the baby because the baby is not going to get any benefited any more benefited by staying in the womb of the mother for longer than um, that is there the mother develops severe problems like fits in pregnancy or severe high blood pressure or uncontrolled blood sugars or baby and mother the blood group do not match and the baby is suffering inside the womb then we have to deliver the baby at that stage we what is called as a iatrogenic prematurity what we have to do is we have to deliver the baby and after counseling the mother and the father and um, take them into confidence and inform the pediatric department the neonatology department and deliver the mother so this is what we do in uh, most of the times so i am i advise all those young mothers who are pregnant and the very important step to manage prematurity is to give a injection of steroids at around 7 to 8 months that is around 28 29 months 28 29 weeks sorry of, uh, of gestation we give an injection of steroid to the mother which will cause which will maturation of the baby's lungs or the unborn baby's lungs so what happens in case the baby is delivered because of any reason even then it does not have too much of a breathing problem outside when it is outside the womb so what we do is we give two injections of steroids 24 hours apart and um, for, for all high-risk women or women who come with signs and symptoms of 
threaten preterm labor we admit them and give them steroids and also give medications to quieten the uterus and so that for 48 hours the steroid works and then in case the mother has a premature delivery the baby does not come to severe harm so all of you out there girls who are pregnant 7 to 8 months please ask your doctor about steroid cover for for threatened prematurity steroid a single step of taking the steroid injection is a major step in preventing the morbidity and mortality of premature births so girls out there discuss with your doctors go ahead and have a safe and healthy pregnancy and a healthy baby thank you